latch the output in many conditions like motor start by using push button and hold the relay after push the button for that we have to modify the logic let's see how we hold the output in this section I have to explain about how to latch the output in a PLC for that first open the WPL saw WPL soft is used for programming in Delta PLC Open the programming window for that go to file and new Then provide the file name and select the PLC model number then click OK In the drop down menu we can choose the model for different Delta PLC model numbers. For this I chose the SS2 model, and leave the other settings like communication all the default. After click OK the programming window will appear. Now we can write the ladder logic for output latch logic. Let's start the programming. First we put the normally open input instruction contact and address as X0. Click OK and place the instruction in the row. Then add the normally close instruction series to the X0 contact and give the address X1. Then select the output coil from the instruction list and give the address as Y0. We can just provide the name for X0 and X1 instructions. X0 is a push button named as Start and X1 named as Stop After that we test the logic which we write for that we have to enable simulation Click the simulation button then transfer the file to the PLC by clicking the download button available in the toolbar Then put the PLC to run mode and then go to online for monitor the ladder logic. First we close the X0 instruction and see the output. The output also changed on condition. Once we open the X0 the output also turned to off condition. Also in X0 on condition the output also on dot at that time we open the X1 it will also result the output turned off. In all this condition we cannot hold or latch the output by push the start button because when we release the X0 the loop will break and the out return to normal but we have to latch the output in many conditions like motor start by using push button and hold the relay after push the button for that we have to modify the logic let's see how we hold the output. First we stop the program and edit the ladder logic diagram. 
remove the simulation and delete the end command. We have to add an input instruction parallel to the X0. For that click X1 and select the vertical line from the toolbar. After that come to the second row and add the input instruction. Select the device name as Y and give the address as 0. Have you noticed the input address of newly added instruction? We give the same address of output coil. Because the Y0 normally open contact will reflect whatever changes occurred in the coil Y0. Now let's simulate the program again and see the logic. Again we close the input X0, let's see the output Y0 become turn on. Also the same time Y0 input also become close. Then open the input X0. Let's see what happened to the output Y0. Nothing will change right. The output Y0 remains same. It's not turned off. This is how the output is latched how we can unlatch the output. For unlatch we change x1 input to open. Now the output back to off condition, let's normalize the x1 input, if we normalize the x1 also the output remains same. If we want to turn on again need to close the x0. Let's see again the operation off latching and unlatching program. This is the basic program for push to latch outputs. I hope you all understood about the latch and unlatch output in PLC. Thanks for watching.